I said, oh, oh yeah? What, what do you mean by that? And she said, oh, you can make a lot of money doing television commercials. I said, great. Where do I sign? You know, how do I sign up for that? This is something that I'm sure everybody will remember, but they won't put two and two together that it's actually you. Let's have a look at his first commercial. Dog, please. More mud, don't it? No, thanks. I've got it covered. Heinz tomato ketchup. The best thing has come to those who wait. <laughs> it's one of those weird things that everyone's watching. Oh, that one! Yeah. It was really fortunate for me to have started in commercials, given my financial situation, because... If you, I just got lucky and landed a couple of great ads. Like, that ad played for four years. Four years. So, you know, you get residuals that sort of roll in every month or so, and I financed my tuition to study acting for two years in New York. And how you got in there. That. That's how you got in there. <laughs> now, with you, David, you went off to university, um, and you also came over here to study, didn't you, in mm -hmm. Oxford? Mm -hmm. What was it you were studying there? I was studying theater. <coughs> um, God. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was, yeah, I was studying uh, Chekhov and Shakespeare, uh, Ibsen and Shaw, um, and the emphasis was on Shakespeare, and studied at Oxford for about three months through a program called the British American Drama Academy. Guess what? Oh. We have a picture of you there as well. Come on. Yes, look, and oh. now, I'm a bit worried that nobody's going to realize which one you are, David, so could we just no, do a little so. circle there? <laughs> look at that hair. It was, it was windy. <laughs> yeah. And then the next time you came over here was to Edinburgh, where you did a, an adult version of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, it, basically, it, mean, it wasn't like a, a raunchy version. It was just, oh. it wasn't for children, uh, necessarily. It was an adaptation by Andre Gregory and his group in New York, um, the Manhattan Project. And I had directed it at school and then brought it over to... Um, uh, the Edinburgh Festival in Scotland, where it ran for a couple of weeks, and then backpacked to Italy and stuff. So it was, it was a fun. So happy uh, memories of your time in Edinburgh. Oh, it wild, was beautiful. Wild time. Yeah, it was definitely. The thing about Edinburgh that I didn't know, and maybe it's the same here, um, is that people love to headbutt you. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, we got some people from Edinburgh in the audience. This, this happened to a buddy of mine. You know, we're at a club and we're just having fun. You know, dancing with girls, and all of a sudden, some guy just goes Dong, and hands, <laughs> just breaks his nose, and we're like. <gasps> <laughs> what was that about? You know, so, uh, so that was fun. Uh, and, but it's a skill now that I've acquired. You've acquired that, you know how to. Yeah, I got a knot here. You know, <laughs> yeah. Now, you, how did you make your break? Because you also, I mean, it's also a bizarre story, same as Matt. Well, it's so, you know, it's awful to follow that story. I mean, Edinburgh, and I'm mean, like, I wanted no, to be on TV. We have three different <laughs> I wanted to be on a show. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his story. That's and his that's story. Yeah. That's pretty much me in a nutshell. No, but there's also <laughs> a strange story how you got picked up as well. No, yes. The first uh, job that I got, um, I was in a restaurant on Ventura Bo Boulevard in the Valley in California with uh, a couple of people. I was skipping school. So let that be a lesson to all the children here. <laughs> They're all going to be skipping. Um, and I got a note on a napkin from a director who said, uh, I'm doing this movie in two months in Chicago, and I'd really like to have you be in the movie. And I was like, okay. <laughs> a little skeptical. I figured, this movie's going to be shot in the back of this guy's van. <laughs> <laughs> or something. This is, this is not a... But I followed it up anyway. And I ended up... Uh, <laughs> and I... Um, I ended up in this movie, in this, in this, uh, this, my first job, and I was in Chicago for three months when I was 17 doing this movie that I liked, and that was basically my first, uh, my first in, and then after that I got an agent and I followed up. And was, was that the first movie, was that the one with River Phoenix? Yes, Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon. In fact, it's lucky it was that one, because guess what? <laughs> It, it was called, originally it was called River Phoenix and Fathead. <laughs> <laughs> that was the original working title. And then, <laughs> is it also true that you had written, go, we'll come back to the show now, that you've written something similar to Friends before you ever did the audition? Yes, well what I did, I, I followed up that movie with uh, a string of 
pretty bad television shows uh, for the next couple of years. I was doing just these shows that weren't that funny and weren't that good and as a result weren't that successful. So I kind of thought to myself, you know what, I think I could write a better show than the shows that I've been on. So I met this buddy of mine, this guy Andrew Hill Newman, uh, across a poker table and he was a writer as well. And we just set off to write this show. And we sold it to this studio, uh, Universal Studios, and we were, I was writer guy. I was in an office and I was, you know, making changes and doing all these things for this script. And we went to, uh, we went to the networks with it and we went to CBS, we went to ABC, and then we went to NBC where we had the most interest, where they really wanted to make it, except they said, and this is about 19, this is the end of 93, and they said, uh, and the show was called Maxwell's House. And they said, the reason we can't, uh, see what we did there, Maxwell's house. Uh, <laughs> boy, we thought that was a great idea. Um, and they said, well, the reason we can't, uh, we can't do this show, we can't buy the show, is we have another show similar to it in development. And I said, well, how could you? And they said, well, it's a show about a bunch of people in their 20s who hang out. I was like, well, that show's going to suck. You should get our show. <laughs> and it turned out that the show that was Friends. And so I, in an effort to make money, I did this really bad pilot um, because there was nothing left out there. And uh, I, I did this pilot that was about baggage handlers. <laughs> in an, <laughs> it gets so much worse. <laughs> this pilot was about baggage handlers in the year 2194. <laughs> So it was me, wearing like this futuristic shirt and this like so stupid thing, surrounded by a bunch of midgets <laughs> wearing wigs who were aliens, and I was like just like sorting out the aliens' luggage. It was basically the show. Is this for really? Oh, really? that's really true. That they they wanted to sell that, and they hired me to be the lead guy. In it. <laughs> David Schwimmer's crying at my life. <laughs> you didn't know that. So I did that show, <laughs> which, and this is about like two weeks before I did Friends. Like that's, I mean, there's not much separation. Then this script came around and everybody was auditioning for it and my, my buddies were saying, wow, this script is so great. And I was off the market because of the Berkey Chandler show. <laughs> <laughs> so a bunch of buddies of mine were coming up to me and saying, wow, there's this part in this show that's you. It's really like you. And I was like, I know. Uh, and they were like, can you help me uh, audition for it? And I was like, sure. And I would like, you know, say, it might be funnier if you put the, if you said, you know, could this be any stupider? <laughs> Do that in the, uh, in the reading. And they ultimately didn't get the job. And then the producers ultimately saw the pilot that I had done and said, you know what? I don't think this is going to get picked up. <laughs> I think he might be available. And then does that happen on a Wednesday? So then I read for Marta Kaufman, the producer, on Wednesday. And then I read for Warner Brothers, the studio, on Thursday. And then I read for the network on Friday, and then I started work on Monday. Wow. It was that quick. Good story. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to go to another break. Do not go away, because there is more. There's more from these three guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Armed with Mike, I'm off. Oh, hold on, just to check my bottom. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay now I'm coming over here because we've got quite an extraordinary yeah, tale. Yeah, right. Now, is it true that the two of you have never met before this night? Yes. It's Tell me the story. Um, well, two of us uh, are both on the friends mailing list on the internet, and we met on that. There's a bunch of us all here tonight, and we decided to meet to come see this show. So this is the first time that you two could touch. <laughs> yeah. Touch, touch, quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great way to meet on the internet. Okay, and you've you got questions for us, for the guys? Mark does. Mark. Oh, lean yeah. in, Mark. Over here. Um, Get closer. After checking out London, what do you think of British women? <laughs> and careful, careful what you say, boys. I think very highly of them. <laughs> Boy, I'm pleased you answered like that. Okay, now, down here. Now, this man says he knows absolutely everything about friends, okay? Don't you, David? You wrote to us and you said that you were friends, Anorak. May I use that word, Dave? Yeah, I have two, so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, one green, one blue, so, you know. Okay, Dave, okay. And you say that you know everything there is to know about friends. 
Uh, right now, I can't even remember what the show is. I'm oh, no! Oh, don't! Oh, don't! Don't! I'm here. I'm here. Right, so we're going to put you to the test, if we may, with the boys. Um, well, I... No, no, they're going to ask you. Ah. Yes. Okay, guys. In the episode where Ross kissed Chandler's mother... Do you remember that Hang one? On. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember well, that's that not one? a good yeah. sign if you don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. There's so many kisses that I can never remember which one. So. Right, it's a great job. <laughs> um, Ross comes to tell Joey about it, and Joey says, Oh, yeah, that's okay, that's no problem. In what world? Bizarro. Ah. <laughs>